Hello everyone, and this is a video tutorial on 1.1.10 of the IB Computer Science Syllabus um, Evaluating different methods of delivering user training. Um, this is This PowerPoint was made by my friend Pradnya and all credit goes to him and I thank him for giving me the permission to upload a screencast of his PowerPoint on YouTube. So let's get started so how will how training will affect rate of implementation so the key thing is that training is important bad training equals clueless employees and good training equals useful employees and efficiency is key efficiency is meant by low input equals um same output so that's efficient you're really good at doing that thing so there are different methods, including online training through videos, self-teaching through experimenting, formal training in meeting rooms. So which one works the best? So let's analyze the pros and cons. So for online training, first of all, you have 24-7 access to it. You can access it anytime you want. You can do it at home, at work, on weekends. And time isn't limited for this particular task as um, you can work at your own pace for example watching Khan Academy tutorial videos or Code Academy coding videos and it does not or waste use does not use or waste paper as everything is online training watching those videos however a major disadvantage is that it relies heavily on self-discipline so for example you some days you just can't be bothered to watch the training videos you have no motivation at all so therefore you skip that particular training task and that's not good at all compared to the other two methods and there's also no one to ask questions to live and um, getting the answer right away unlike that um, there's one um, there's a method called self-teaching which is experimenting for example like myself I experiment with FL Studio and I make music um, so the uh, positives are that there's least resources needed you can learn at your own pace and you can build your own lesson plan so that's self experimenting but the thing is um, it needs a lot and a lot of motivation and it's the slowest of all options and minimal external guidance so for example I'm studying for an let's just say an SAT exam um, and I have to if I just buy the like Barron's textbook or the official SAT study guide I have to have lots of motivations to study it instead of um, a teacher or a tutor teaching me which links to this point formal training and meeting room so this is when um, employees have proper training on the job off the job um, um, pros include trainer ensures learning so you have to for example let's relate back to the SAT analogy let's say you take a course uh, you have to attend that course to improve your learning so therefore users will feel more motivated and users can also ask questions and the trainer can answer them live so you can just ask as many questions as you want however hiring a trainer costs lots of money and furthermore if we can link to link this to IGCSE or IB business if um, a person or an employee gets on or off the job training especially if it's off the job training they will get gain experience and skills therefore they have higher um, they have a higher skill range therefore um, they may ask for an increase in wages or they may move outside the company or because their skills has improved and qualifications has Im um, increased but the overall best is that it depends on the type of organization thank you for watching and thanks to Pranya again for I'm giving me permission to make this screencast and hopefully you have learned something from this.